Hey, how's it going again? This is Roland Jean Charles from PMI JCM Realty Group, where we manage properties from an asset management perspective. Um, today, what I'm going to talk to you about are six steps for managing um, your rental property expenses. Now, Marcus Lamonis has said this best. If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business. And for most property managers and property owners, they're just flying by the seat of their pants, right? I mean, imagine a situation where you have in 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 income coming in, expenses going out, but you have no earthly idea what your money's being spent on. Not even just your money, but the owner's money for uh, managing their property, um, your management fees. And to be honest with you, that's what puts most property management businesses um, out of business. Um, they just simply don't know their numbers and they don't take the time to understand what their costs are, what their expenses are, what they're spending money are, on, um, what maintenance um, they're doing on a continuous basis on a particular property. For example, I've had many property managers who spend thousands, of, well, this is a prime example, right? Just the other day, there was this owner, a AC went out. He had no money to fix the AC, right? He had saved no money, put no money aside over the years the tenants had been renting the property, right? He had no money in reserves. AC goes out, it's the middle of the summer, Tenants are complaining it's hot in the property and the owner's just standing there like, you know, dumbfounded, like they don't know what to do, right? Because they don't have the money. They don't want the tenant to leave because it's a good paying tenant. And you have this issue going on. If you understand your property management expenses or your rental expenses, you're able to cover those types of costs whenever they come up so that you don't end up in a situation with a broken um, AC unit in the middle of the summer and not have any way to deal with those types of issues, right? So what I'm gonna do today is talk to property managers and property owners and give you guys six tips so that you uh, manage your rental property expenses better and you have better outcomes in the future. So let's start out with, let's see here my, so what we're gonna start out with is consider hiring a bookkeeper. Now, most of us, uh, rental property management, rental management property, rental property managers, and rental property owners, right? We tend to not hire bookkeepers because we tend to think that we can do the job better ourselves, right? We know our numbers. Um, we put them. We put the expenses in. We put the. Um, we put we input the all the numbers for um, our income, so we know how to track our numbers. But the reality is, we don't, right? I believe in hiring professionals to do their jobs, right? Um, I don't want to be the plumber, right? I'm not going to be under the sink fixing the sink, even though I may know a thing or two about plumbing. I'm not the guy that you want under your sink trying to fix that bad boy when it goes down, right? You want to get a professional to do that, right? And it should be the same with your finances. Get a professional bookkeeper, hire them on a monthly basis, right? Get them on retainer and then work with them to try to budget and make sure that all the expenses that are coming in are actual expenses for your, um, for your property and that you're not unnecessarily spending money where they shouldn't be allocated, right? So consider about hiring a bookkeeper. They're a great um, websites that you can go to and find um, good bookkeepers in your area, um, particularly in this age. I actually, I usually, there's a company called, um, same in that company, bench.co. Um, that's a great company that helps small businesses with their bookkeeping needs. Um, they don't specifically focus on property management, but that is definitely a good resource you can start out with to, to help with that type of work. The next one is, um, the next step that I have is schedule your activities to track your operations. One thing that you wanna do as a rental property owner, I mean, sometimes you feel like there's just not enough time in the day to get what you need to get done. And the reality is you don't get to prioritize your tasks or, your, or you get, to, or get time to review your books. Myself, I actually color code my calendar, right? With tasks and activities that I need to do throughout the day, right? Very important things go in red, um, things that I think that I could um, skirt by without necessarily having to do um, goes in green, right? So you wanna put activities like reviewing or your tracking operations, you wanna put those in red so that you um, know that that's something that's important. Put it at a time of the day where you'd be most alert. Some people do their best work in the morning 
like me, um, you know, after 8 p.m., I'm pretty much out of it. You know, I'm surfing the web for anything but my work, even though I should be doing my work at that particular time, right? So uh, find out the, the time of the day that's best for you to do your work and schedule your most important times for that day. But make sure you put something on your calendar uh, so you can track your operations, your operational activity, right? Um, next thing that you want to do, next tip is make sure that you allocate that time, right? I mean, if you agree with the point above, you certainly agree that allocating your time effectively is something that you definitely need to make sure that you do if you want to make sure that your books are being done properly, right? And you want to take time daily, every day, to look at your books, look at your numbers, right? Even if it's at the end of the day, just look to see how many expenses. And, you know, for the reality is looking at your books daily, you may not see a huge amount of changes. But I guarantee you when something comes out that's unnecessary, you will notice. The times that I take to look at my books and make sure that either the, ten, the income's coming in or seeing what's going out, it does wonders for my business because it helps me track and make sense of everything that's happening within the property management portfolio for a particular owner and my particular portfolio as a management company, uh, making sure that that gets tracked. And so I typically do a full review on Saturdays um, or Sundays, but daily I tend to look at the numbers just to make sure that I'm on point with everything that I need to be um, coming in and coming out when it comes to the finances. You know, <laughs> the next is explore opportunities to reduce your, reduce your taxes, right? And he said, you know, and they say in life, there are two things that are certain, death and taxes, right? That's the full quote um, that they have. And so you're going to get charged taxes no matter what you're doing um, because you have to pay um, the government for the services that they provide, which is fine, right? And the property taxes goes to paying for schools and other things of that nature. So that's not a problem. However, you should never pay more taxes than you are supposed to right and there are companies out there um, that can help you reduce your property taxes and most property managers and property owners don't know that but i've partnered up strategically with companies that help look at my owner's portfolios and reduce those taxes where necessary and you should also look online yourself for property for um companies that can help you look at your portfolio or if you're a property manager your owner's portfolio to help reduce your taxes any monies that you can save from reducing your taxes goes directly to your bottom line and helps um, improve your margin. So definitely take the time to look at those opportunities to reduce your taxes any chance that you get. Next, um, you want to make sure that you review your mortgage payments. You know, interest rates are historically low right now, and a lot of owners are taking advantage of um, reducing their mortgage by, you know, refinancing, right? Take that opportunity. If you have a mortgage broker or a bank that you work with that you're close with, just have them give you a quote. See how much they can reduce your, um, your, your mortgage payments. And what I advise most property managers or property owners, even if you take a 40-year loan, take a longer um, amortization schedule um, to reduce your, your payment. That's fine, right? Because at the end of the day, it's the tenants that are paying for that mortgage, right? It's not coming out of your pocket. Even if you decide that you want to live in that property somewhere down the road, does it make sense for you to, you know, get the mortgage paid early, 15 years, 30 years? Sure, maybe, right? But if you are about getting a return on your investment and you're about cash flow, then having a 30-year amortization, amortization schedule is good because you can get all that money up front. And then when you refinance or when you sell the property, you'll get the bulk of that money back anyway, right? So, so it's a win situation for you as a property manager or property owner, the lower the um, the lower your mortgage is if you're looking for good cash flow on a month-to-month -month basis, right? There's several ways to get cash out of a property. Cash flow is one of them. Um, when you sell the property, is another refinancing and pulling cash out is another and remember when you refinance to pull cash out you're pulling cash out tax-free right because that's technically considered a debt even though that money is going into your pocket and you do not pay taxes on it right and then when you sell it you may not get as much of a bang for your buck at the end when you sell but the money that you are um, getting when you sell the property, that is subject to capital gains tax. When you pull cash out, you're not subject to that capital gains tax, right? So getting that longer amortization schedule is definitely something that you, you should um, look into and pulling cash out 
during the time where you have that property under your portfolio can definitely help boost your bottom line and get you a better return, right? And the last one, review your property, rental property insurance. This goes without saying, you should review your property um, insurance once a year, right? That industry is very competitive and the insurance rate changes all the time depending on who um, you are with as an insurance, um, who's doing your insurance, right? So always take the time, have a couple of different brokers that you can work with, right? And they'll be able to quote you different prices um, each year, right? And you should always be looking at that for your um, owners to see if you can reduce that because any money that you reduce, um, that you reduce from your insurance, that's also uh, more money back in your pocket. Right, and it gets gets you a better cash flow. So, those are the tips. Right, consider hiring a bookkeeper, scheduling activities to track <clears throat> your operations, allocate time daily to actually um, track those um, the monies, um, explore opportunities to reduce your property taxes, manage your mortgage, um, or well, review your mortgage uh, payments and try to get that reduced um, with your mortgage broker and um, review your insurance to try to reduce that as well. <clears throat> so if you do those things, you'll definitely be in a better position to get a better return on your investment. Um, and it, it'll definitely help you move forward in managing the finances for your portfolio. If you like this tip, um, we do have an article that comes with this video. The article is a little bit more structured than you know the the, um, the conversation that I'm having with you right now. But if you like the content, please reach out to us on our Facebook group. We have tons more content there available for you um, for the property manager and for the property owner who are looking to build their portfolio and to get uh, a better return on their investment. And I'm also going to be doing a free webinar um, that's going to be hosted in, in the next couple of months that's going to help um, teach property owners and property managers how to streamline their property management business to get a the best return on their investment. You can always contact me directly um, at any time, Roland Jean Charles at PMI JCM Realty Group. And I'm looking forward to talk to you. I really want to work with you and I really want to help you grow your property management business and your portfolio. Again, Roland Jean Charles from PMI JCM Realty Group, where we manage properties from an asset management perspective. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you and have a great day.